Hola, folks. I'm the one, the only. I am El Vagabundo Hobo Cinco Dos. I'm here to take the place of Senior Hobo Tom because there is a new rule here in Daytona Beach. You have to wear a mascaras. Even though I don't think this is the mascaras they're talking about, this is the only mascaras I have. So, therefore, El Vagabundo. The Hotel Hobo is going to do the show and talk a little bit about IEW. Hello, Senior Hobo Tom. Let's place my much more comfortable headset. He and I have to have a talk. But before that happens, he has some, some buenos to give out. Some muy buenos. Some thank yous. Oh, I need to find one more. That's correct. I almost forgot there was that one. It was added actually today. I think. Let's see, let me go search stuff. At uh, youtube.com. Someone did put in a notification. Let's go see what. Oh, there we go. Michael Phillips. No idea who that is, but he gets a thank you anyway. There we go. Now I, now I am all set. There we go, his. Wow. That was a while ago. Huh. That's intriguing. Muy, muy intriguing. See the gears rolling. But I'm here to talk about some IEW. No NXT. No Great American Bash. But first, gorillas be like a six count. Hobo be like is a man who truly knows musica and knows how to play the air guitar.
Franzana. He listens to his music through his beef ca brief case boombox. Senior Dickbutt, you, sir, can crawl out of here. <laughs> Slava Zurek, you, sir, with a name like that, Always with my dirty pen. And Michael Phillips, you, sir, are joining us here in Daytona Beach wearing our mascaras as you are a part of the El Generico Band. And with that, all those muy buenos go out. Now it's time to talk about some fight or fast. As you can tell, this is interesting again. I don't think Jacksonville has a requirement for wearing a mascaras. That's no bueno. It's not good. Um, very mal, mal, mala noche. Ooh. So. With that, Fighter Fest Day 1, very interesting show. It starts off hot. Starts off. Oh, wait. Fight fighters! Ready? Canadian fight fighters! Ready? Fight! Ding, ding, ding. Fight perfect! I miss fight perfect. Fight perfecto. Uh, starts off with Wardlow and MJF taking on Jungle Boy. Y Lucha uh, this was a, this was a pretty fun match. Uh, Jungle Boy starts off. He gets beat up. He is the smallest of all the wrestlers. I did not know that Chris Jericho knew that he came. That he actually or, um, he, Chris Jericho mentioned CMLL. Indeed, I wonder when Chris Jericho is going to talk about my preferred promotion. A A A Triple A. It's coming up soon. They're going to have. That'll be interesting to see what they do, though. Who knows? Because they're there's they're triple manias in like a month. Oh wow! Uh, so Jungle Boy gets speed up a lot. Um, Luchasaurus gets a hot tag. Uh, Wardlow eventually comes in. He starts eating those vicious Dino Chops, and Jericho's on commentary. And oh my my, is he just full of knowledge left and right to Chris Jericho? Very, this is very awesome on the mic. I'm so upset I can't find that one thing. Where did I put that? It's, it's infuriating. I hate it when I have to search for stuff. So I put stuff where I probably shouldn't. But I'll tranquilo. Um, let's see here. MJF eventually. Wants nothing to do with Luchasaurus. Well, again, a sweep of the legs by Luchasaurus. Again, very talented. And the kicking and the striking is one Luchasaurus Rex. Uh, Luchas eventually, MJF wants nothing to do with Luchasaurus. Um, we go commercial break. A very long commercial break, too. That's what I don't like about them having these 
pay-per-views as dynamite. This is a glorified dynamite. Um, hopefully they left this ridiculous mascaras thing here in Daytona Beach. Oh, Senior Hobo Tom can talk about this because uh, whatever. Uh, eventually Luchasaurus and Wardlow, they do some yay boos. Yay! Boo! Yay! Boo! Uh, let's see what else happens during this. Uh, <laughs> the jungle boy then just started diving all over like like the, the trace dives onto MJF. Yeah, and Chris Jericho mentions CML. Also pretty cool. And also he mentions the king of monsters. Godzilla. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, Godzilla, the true king of monsters. He mentioned Mothra. Mothra is the preferred monster of Chris Jericho. My favorite is always Godzilla. Again, go back to the original terror of Mecha Godzilla. The son of Godzilla. Oh. Bien, bien. Bien, bien, bien. Let's see here. Wardlow gets back in the ring. Again, except for uh, Wardlow at one time tries to counter the Poison Rana. He eventually eats the Poison Rana. MJF, he slips that ring on. He almost hits... Um, well, he didn't heal up. He just did the straight, ah, I poke to Luchasaurus. Again, if you poke a dinosaur in the eye, that's definitely one way to get him to go down. Then the, all four men face each other. They're all lying down. They all do kip-ups. Very impressive for those big guys to do those kip-ups. This is not as comfortable as I thought it would be. But that's okay. Only a few more. Only, hopefully 20 more minutes left of this. Hopefully 15. Um, let's see a kip from everyone. Marco showed up. He got tossed onto the Jungle Boy. That was very bad. Wardlow. He hit a swanton bomb. And that rotation was kind of late. He almost jumped right on top of his skull. That would not have been pretty, folks. But he succeeded in doing the swanton bomb. Again, bravo, Wardlow. Bravo. El Gato. What is El Gato? El Gato. El Gato was somewhere. Oh, well. Uh, swanton, Wardlow. And MJF went to load up the ring. He kind of paused, but then got knocked into him. So Wardlow kind of somewhat got hit by the ring. Got nailed by a swing DDT. And for some reason, that was a very quick one, two, three by the referee. Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus are victorious. And I'll tell you what, because this is my show, this match was a muff. Fungo of a match. Then we had Penelope Ford. Oh, we caliente. Oh, so grande. <laughs> Taking on Hikaru Shida. And for this match, Ford, Penelope Ford just seems a little slow. She seems just to be. Yeah, so I think someone else noticed this in Discord. You seem just to be a, like that kind of move behind, with the exception of that Matrix, which I'll get to. Uh, Kip Sabian gets in the ring, and, and eventually he starts to talk trash. He, I don't know what he did, but you know what Ref Aubrey said? You, sir, are out of here. Kip Sabian, the belt didn't even ring, and you're getting kicked out of the match already. <laughs> um. So Kip gets tossed, and then Kip goes off, but he takes a kendo stick with him. We'll see what happens. Uh, starts off, quick knee to the face by Sheeta. She, she tried to go for the Falcon Arrow just end the match. Uh, Sheeta, for the most part, is in control. Ford does the flippy elbow to a German suplex. That was impressive. It's always nice to see a good bridging German suplex into the pin. And then, ouch! They just start to slap each other. Like, open hand. Whap! 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 
Whoa! What, what, what the? Cat fight start. But yeah, they just started to slap the smack out of each other. Uh, then, <laughs> yeah. She, Hikarushita, did some like sleeper backbreaker. And bravo! Bravo, cameraman! He saw a lot more of Penelope Ford than you think. And that what we probably deserve, we saw more than what we deserve to see. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you. For the so big and voluptuous. Muy grande. Oh. Double day. C, C, C. Uh, she hit a falcon arrow, but you know what? Everyone kicks out. There was a falcon arrow, but it was reversed. Penelope Ford Matrix out of a flying dropkick by Sheeta. I do like the originality in that. Again, I applaud originality. C, C, C. Muy grande. Um, uh, Kip Sabian. Uh, uh, then what happened? Penelope Ford tried to sex the referee. Kip Sabian showed up because he still had that Kendo stick, however, Kip Sabian, the rule of professional wrestling, you bring the weapon, you get whacked by the weapon. Akarushita took that out right out of his hands. Whap! Right across the head of Kip Sabian, he gets out of the ring. Um, then we found out that, of course, everyone kicks out of the Falcon Air, and again, I'm still truly amazed by the camera shot. Well, they weren't showing much down there on Penelope Ford, but they showed enough up top of Penelope Ford. And everyone kicks out of the Falcon's arrow. Therefore, the Karushita ended the match with the shiniest wizard. It was a good match. It was a burrito of a match. We had Jake Hagar taking on Senor Cody Rhodes. And, oh, Senora Hagar. Wow. Muy grande. En fuego. Senora, Senora Hagar. Es en fuego. Uh, Cody, for the most part, is in control. Very technical match. Starts off with a toehold into a near Muda lock into the figure four. And Chris Jericho mentions the late. The great Gorilla Monsoon. Yes. Gorilla Monsoon is probably smiling hearing his name mentioned by Chris Jericho on AEW. Uh, let's see here. Jake Hagar then goes to strangle Hart Henderson. Whoa. Well, where did that come from? Uh, Hagar then beats up Cody outside. <laughs> this was funny because Senor Hagar and her heels walked right over the back of Senor Cody Rhodes. With those heels? Ouch. And you know what? There was no brandy. Indeed. She's off having too many margaritas for her cooking show. Oh, and I'll get to cooking shows in a moment. I'm very, very disappointed. Um... So with the smash, as it continues, Hagar begins to just beal Cody all over the ring. Uh, Cody goes for, the, he does a scorpion death drive. A scorpion death drop from Sting. Woo! Uh, Hagar again. Just slap Cody. Um, Dustin shows up, slaps him. There was that weird... Hagar had Cody in the arm triangle. Cody flipped over, so Hagar was pinning himself. Didn't get out of the hold. It seemed like Cody was out. But Jake Hagar's shoulders were down. Jake Hagar lost. And then Jake Hagar begins to beat up people. And he actually knocked the referee out. That's no good. He's going to be losing muy... De Mucho, mucho dinero for that. Uh, Cody Rhodes wins the match. And a burrito of a match.
Then this punk kid Darby Allen does some skateboarding things while people setting people on fire. I do not trust Darby Allen since it's been revealed he made up an episode of Sex Something to the ER. Darby Allen. Boo. Boo. Rudo. Rudo. And you don't lie about things like that. Rudo. Uh, then we had Ortiz and Santana. L-A-X. Taking on Private Party. Uh, the one guy from Private Party, I have no idea because I don't follow him that much. I have no idea what his name was. He offers one free shot from Ortiz and and it was or no, uh, I'm sorry, Sant yeah, Santana offered private party one free shot. That was the weakest slap I've ever seen. I think my niece could slap with more force. That was pathetic. Boo boo. Uh, private party eventually they do their double teams and their diving stuff. Uh, there was a standing moonsault by Quinn with the, and the... That was fun. It was a standing moonsault and the inverted atomic drop and Enziguri combo. Private Party, they do a lot of amazing double-team moves. Uh, LAX eventually takes control after the break. They get in the ring. They brawl some more. Uh, Private Party, the they, they twirling dervish thing. Santana... Did a cannonball. Uh, private party got sent into El Barricade. Into El Barricade. You saw El Barricade. Cuckoo, cachoo. So the barricade got involved. Matt Hardy then uh, he, he gets the mad balls away. Then a couple of roll up attempts. And then gin and juice. And private party wins. I got another burrito of a match. Oh, and what we did see. We saw La Senorita. We saw La Senoritas. Oh, and La Bikinis. Oh, La Bimbos. Ho, 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 ho. Yes, they were lounging without fear of coronavirus, drinking margaritas and daiquiris. Oh, yeah, cooking news. Boo, Rene Young. Boo, 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 Rene Young. She says she is going to have an announcement on Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Her announcement was wait for it. Wait for it. She has a cooking book. Boo! Boo! I wanted to hear that she's either pregnant with John Moxley's child or is coming to IEW. Even if she said a happy Canada... No, there's no, there's no such thing as happy Canada Day. There's only one true holiday that's not observed in the United States and that's Cinco de Mayo. No Canada Day. Only Cinco de Mayo. Although the 4th of July is coming up. You might see me again. Host a little 4th of July spectacular. Again, uh, always in a mood for a fiesta. Uh, then, uh, oh, yes. Orange Cassidy came out for this match. He was commentary. Then he hit Jericho over the head with a chair. Boo, Orange Cassidy. Rudo. Rudo. So that was terrible. Oh, wow, that was it. Yeah, that was an. I didn't, yeah, that was a breed of the match. Wait a second, I'm almost done. Wow, done quicker than I thought. Then in the main event of the evening, oh, we had a Cesar Bononi sighting again. C C C. It's good to see people released by the WWA getting work in other promotions. Yay, Cesar Bononi! I don't know what name he's going to go under. We'll see. Mm. So Kenny Omega and, and Adam Page promo. Uh, Taz came out and talked with Brian Cage for John Moxley. That's a case of the chicken shits. That's n not good. 
Wow, that could have been a lot worse. But yes, Brian Cage, or Taz says, John Moxley has a case of the chicken, chicken shits. I half expected to see Renee Young come out and defend her man. Although one day, I do hope to see the ever, ever coked up Melissa Santos. One day. <laughs> oh, she has all the Colombian marching powder. <laughs> Peruvian sugars. So, oh, there we go. I can't knock my mask, silly. There we go. My mask is better now. Uh, then we have the best friends taking on Adam Page and Kenny Omega. Actually, not much happened during this match. Um, although the best thing that happened, oh, Senora Brata. Oh, oh, Senor Brata. Muy caliente. Es en fuego. She drove Trent and Chuck Taylor to the ring in the minivan. Oh, Senora. Hey, hey, if you're single, so am I. I don't mind minivans. More space. Um, and of course, his mommy gave him a kiss. Good luck. Oh. Uh, it was a classic mat wrestling match to start off with. Uh, Kenny, uh, Kenny Omega went for the Polish hammer kind of early. Hangman Adam Page gets his offenses. Very good tag team work in this match by both. The best friends. They almost hit the awful waffle. Uh, and some soul food. Uh, Hangman, Adam Page, and Kenny Omega just seem to be they're a little bit off a little bit, but eventually, like they always do, they get they get their stuff together. Uh, Trent and Page trade uh, Trent Breda and Hangman and Page trade blows. And FTR show up! And what does FTR show up with? Cerveza! Oh, they offered they offered Senorita Britt Baker a cerveza. She said no! But of course, Tony Schiavone said, Si, sí, senor. Mucho cerveza. Cerveza for all. And then, let's see here. Yep. Um, Hangman and Page went for the dead eye. They, it was a weird ending. I don't, I don't, I think they did, they didn't do their finisher. They did something else. So in the end, Kenny Omega. The hangman Adam Page wins. And of course, FTR go in the ring to celebrate with them. Offer both Kenny and Hangman a cerveza. Hangman Adam Page take, take the cerveza and down the cerveza very quickly. However, Kenny Omega was very insulting. He poured his cerveza out to the floor. Very, very insulting. It drew the anger. An ire of FTR and Hangman and Page to the degree the Young Bucks had to come out to stop a fracas. Uh, this was probably the weakest match of the night. I don't know. It just didn't it seem short for a tag team champion. They could have done so much more. But yet they don't. Ah. Mm. Uh. Unfortunately, this is just a taco of a match. And that was the first ever Fighter Fest. Again, if you're in here in Daytona Beach, be like El Hobo de Vagabundo and wear your mascaras out there. It's the law. At least for now it is. Um, other than that, everyone, take care. You shall see probably...